quick video here, real quick. So I'm sure you're aware, recently there was a shooting in Colorado. Uh, a guy entered a um, gay nightclub, killed a bunch of people. Not good, uh, unless you're a conservative, in which case it's actually very good, because you love stuff like that. Uh, there was an interview done <clears throat> with uh, the father of the Colorado shooter. Uh, it just came out a couple hours ago. Uh, it is more telling than you could possibly imagine. Now, you've probably heard a couple developments on this. First of all, the father of the shooter is a, 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 a porn star named like, um, I don't know. It's like the most porn star name imaginable. D Dirk Dickum. I don't know. I, I don't even care. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. You've also probably heard that the um the shooter is identified as non-binary as per the um the uh, uh, uh public attorneys that have been assigned to him uh, as they've announced um we'll get to that in a second we'll get to that but hold your horses real quick you know so uh <laughs> god i don't even know how to preface this There was a shooting involving, you know, there were multiple people. Right. And then I thought, they were on going to find it's a, a gay bar. Yeah, right. And, uh, and I was like, oh my God, is he gay? As a scare, oh my God, shit, is he gay? Hmm. And he's not gay, so it's like, it's, 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 Well, you guys had had conversations about that. You you were... Oh, yeah, so like, I, you, you, I was you adamant. Him, yeah, you were adamant that gay is bad. I was is, adamant gay is this ain't bad. happening. Yeah. I'm, I'm a Mormon. I'm a conservative Republican. And we don't do gay. That's right. His, his son, a mass shooter, this guy's response to the reporters was literally, oh, my son's a mass shooter? Well, thank God he's not gay. That is the actual unironic. There's no, it's fully a, a cartoonish response, but it is also the one that actually happened in real life. I think it's pretty obvious from this guy's mannerisms that he's not all there. He's not very mentally well, which kind of fits with the profile of the shooter, considering the fact that he made a homemade bomb and threatened his mother with weapons. Uh, just a year before, and then of course um, was was arrested by the cops, charged with six felonies, and then mysteriously all of those felonies were dropped, which I'm sure has nothing to do with the fact that the shooter's grandfather, this guy's dad, is a uh, far right Republican um, politician. Okay, we, don't do yeah. gay. we don't do gay. Yeah, I can't get answers from the attorneys really, but they're saying that some of these you know, it's involving a gay bar or some shit. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the heck you did at a gay bar. Um, I don't know what's going on. Well, he's accused of going on a mass shooting at a gay bar and killing five people. Colorado. Okay, well, well, that's uh, shit. If he's accused of doing that, I, I, I'm not he's not gay. Literally. L like, literally, fully, entirely, with no exaggeration. Literally, that is the response here. Oh, what was he doing at a gay bar? Um, he was he was a mass shooter. He killed a bunch of innocent people. Oh, okay. Oh, at least he wasn't gay. It is it is truly beyond parody and fully indicative, by the way, of the mindset of a lot of people. You wonder, you go on social media, why do so many people want us dead? Well, a lot of them are like this guy. Just to... I mean, I'll be I'll be like Frank, barely like people, like NPCs basically. Not much going on up here. Um, very simple as simple as, you know, uh, in their thought process. Uh, you know. Um, oh, a mass shooting? Well, at least he wasn't there to suck dick. Oh, I can say that, but he's not gay. <laughs> Literally. He is obviously not mentally well, but I guess this was the uh, household that the son grew up in, you know? That works. I praised him for violent behavior really early. I said that it works. It is I praised him for violent behavior really early on. It's, in it's instant, and, it and you'll get immediate results. It's instant, and you'll get immediate results. And you'll always give what you want. You're good at fighting. Had you taught him more tolerance, let me no. be direct. Do you think, uh, you know, it, he would have been more tolerant of gay people? Apparently. I think that my anti-gay, anti-schmatic, they call conservative writing, I'm a conservative extraordinaire, and I've been very vocal about that. It was a, I support Randy Vopel, her, her his grandfather. I love Randy Vopel. Good so, yeah, he, that's, yeah. The conservative politician. American will be president someday. Um, Randy who? Uh, Randy Vopel. Oh, Randy. Randy. Vopel. Randy. Well, that's a good man right there. That's a that's the best man for the job. Mm -hmm. uh, it was okay to be gay. You know, it's like he says, it's not like it's cool to be gay. It's not. It's, I think it's not cool at all. I think it's um. My, my opinion about gays is it's just not okay. 
I think we should stand up against homosexuality. Okay. I'm just going to lay this out super quick. We don't need to, like, narrativize too much. Barely even human, that guy. Obviously not mentally well. A lot of conservatives are going to use the fact that he's obviously not mentally well to say, like, oh, this wasn't a far-right thing. This was a mentally ill thing. To which the obvious answer is no. His mental illness is tied up in him being far-right. All the behavior that he's demonstrating here, everything that's obviously psychotic and antisocial, is just a conservative position. Um, sorry, conservatism is mental illness. Uh, it's fundamentally anti-empiricist. You can't be a conservative in America these days without fundamentally rejecting reality. Um, so the two are tied up in each other. Um, now, again, the shooter identified as non-binary as per documents released by the public defenders who are, uh, who are assigned to him. Uh, is this being done in bad faith? Yes, of course it is, obviously. Um, you know, Steven Crowder identifies a woman for eight minutes to go do a video at Planet Fitness. Doesn't matter. Uh, no. Uh, let's take it at face value. Let's say the shooter is non-binary. Who cares? Doesn't change anything. He's not. I mean, he's lying there. But so what? Don't get caught up in the argument of like, oh, he's faking it to conservatives because then conservatives are just going to do the, well, I thought anyone who identified as a, and then they're going to deliberately lead you down a road. They're going to kill more and more of you while they waste your time with bad faith arguments. So don't even bother. doesn't matter whether or not he's non-binary. Here's his dad, the guy's dad, literally saying like itemized. Yeah, I am far right. I am a Republican. I am glad that my son is a mass shooter rather than a homosexual. And I taught him to be violent in line with my conservative beliefs. Uh, yeah, I think this guy's behavior might have been motivated by conservative media. Uh, you know, just taking a taking a shot out there. So yes, uh, they want you dead. Uh, they want to kill you. They will celebrate your death. Uh, they will distract from the discussion uh, with every possible you know opportunity. Uh, you know, every every chance they get, every rhetorical line they can pull you away. Um, the fact that this guy is is cartoonishly evil. You know, the the main thing that makes this guy different is the fact that he's honest. Seriously. Um, I genuinely believe that saving the fact that this guy's in like tonality is really strange. I feel like if a lot of conservatives were just fully as honest as this guy is, they would sound pretty much the same. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, that's that is where the shooter came from. Just pure distilled uh, conservative thought patterns, sort of baked into uh, the only mind that can contain conservatism, which is a, a deeply damaged one. Good luck, America.